Science fans, haters, hello, and welcome back to another video. I want to say if I sound a little crazy, I did this cardio challenge at the gym today, and my esophagus, not doing well. So if I start to, that's why. But uh, joined with Charles, who also did the challenge. We are spent. But I got an exciting delivery from Bluey. If you don't know, Bluey is... Megan Grubb's new like gym wear swimwear brand. So it's two sections, one that they call beach to bar and the other they call gym wear or active wear, but spelled like W-H-E-R because a lot of the whole plot is a pro the fact that like everything from her collection is both like for real life, but also like the purpose of like the beach or also the gym. Pretty cool, really excited. I've waited a very long time. I will preface by saying yes, New brand, first launch, always a little bit crazy. Okay, oh, I'm just so excited. So I do know that they only sent me part of my order because there was a some sort of delay with the swimwear items. So I only received my active wear items, but still very excited. Megan Grubb did a lot within this brand to talk about like the environment. So I already know actually the packaging feels really weird because you can dissolve the packaging. Like the packaging is 100% like environmentally friendly. Like I think you just can literally, we can put this in a, in a cup with like boiling water and the whole thing will just like disintegrate. Materials are I think like 70% recycled, something like that, like, which is pretty impressive because it just is. Let's open this because I keep grabbing it. This is the, oh, I got a bikini bottom. All right, cool, okay. So I did get one of my swimwear items, but not the tops and the one piece, and that's what it is. Let's go to the activewear. So this is the Seamless High Neck Sports Bra. Beautiful khaki green color. Look at that. It's such a pretty olive color has that new smell but it's not i mean it is but 70 percent recycled material already love the fact that it's a nice high neck which is supposed to become more supportive for the larger chested gals like myself not only is it nice that she kept like other bodies in mind like megan grubb she's stunning but she's very like petite figure i think she always wears like an extra small or small um between her top and bottom I am not that. I'm definitely more of a standard large, sometimes extra large, occasionally medium gal myself. And the fact that like she kept in mind different body sizes and types when she was designing, <clears throat> when her and the designer were making the designs <laughs> for the items, I think is really cool because a lot of brands nowadays are doing these itty bitty minimal designs, which yeah, is nice to look at for like 12 seconds but me with my larger chest we're gonna get a lot of spillage slippage and they're just not functional for curvier larger people like myself in my opinion um so i love that this is nice and high neck it does seem like nicely sturdy as well there are cups inside of it so you can actually even see it kind of has that shape i will say the material is really silky like really really nice and the branding Look at that. The branding is so minimal. We love minimal branding over here. Like minimal branding or tonal branding is always really nice. I got these 7 eighths length. I'm a bit short. I'm about only about 5'4". Um, and I'm not a long-legged 5'4". So I went with 7 eighths. I also just like 7 eighths leggings on me. And uh, I really love the color. Well, I think it's interesting just looking at them. So they don't necessarily taper a lot. Uh, there's not a huge taper from like the thigh down to the ankle so i'd be interested to see if the ankle like gaps or bellows because it doesn't look like it'll be that tight so it is seven eighths so it will come up a little bit closer like up my calf compared to like, down my ankle that's just an interesting first observation again material exact same material super soft super silky they do have a <clears throat> butt scrunch so there's a scrunch up the bum so if you go on the inside it's not just like a random sewed scrunch like i think like gymshark does i secretly hate the like gymshark scrunch this one is actually kind of sewn in more it's not just like randomly sewed at the top it's the entire glute seam which i like i hope that will hopefully get up into the cheeks a little bit more give you a little also a very subtle like contour line down here under the glutes as well 
it's not too in your face it's very subtle in the material just a slightly different texture within the design to show it compared to like in the bow and tee leggings it was quite aggressive it was like literally like i think like a seam scrunch almost but i like that it's quite subtle the waistband is actually shorter than i thought but hopefully that'll be good because it won't be too high i find a lot of gym wear brands nowadays do really really like almost too high waistbands and this is actually like i'd say it merely maybe a solid inch shorter than other than a lot of other brands would do and again minimal branding there's actually no front branding which i think is really nice and there's only just a little bitty one up at the top of the waistband that's the word but how do you feel these Yeah, there you go. Whoa, the cut of this is stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So the color, it's black, but it's not like jet black and it's not gray. Like it's in between dark gray and black, which I love. So it's exactly charcoal black. The cut of that, stunning. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't look like it's too low of a V. It might be a little bit pushing it on my chest, but we'll see. I know she wanted to do an actual halter neck, but I felt that there was a lot of pressure on the back of the neck, which can happen with halters. So they added this really minimal, like, strap in the middle, which I like a lot. I don't think I've ever seen something like that, like, more, but nice. And removable cup pads. And again, that minimal branding. Same thing with the band, it looks like. And there's nice stretch, but it's still supportive at the same time. So I think, again, we might be doing good on the boob department, but it all depends on when we try it all on. Charcoal black leggings from first glance. Everything looks exactly the same. Um, again, that does almost seem like too wide, but we'll see when we try it on. Like, I just feel like my ankle. That'll be interesting, because I don't know, that'll just be. But I again love that minimal branding. Everything looks exactly the same. It doesn't look like there's any differences between the two at first glance which sometimes you can tell like with different colors there's like different amounts in the stretch and things like that i mean it seems nice and stretchy Let's see where's the green nice and stretchy all right we're gonna try them on oh wait bathing suit bottoms i got the cheeky bikini bottoms again in the khaki um and like i said there was some sort of delay with the uh bathing suit tops. I will say this material feels super silky. Uh, at first glance, you don't really know which side is which because it's pretty cheeky, it will say. Like, it will be cheeks out. This is the back because that's where the logo is, so. But this is nice and thick, double lined. Um, already at first glance, I could say that this might run small. All right, let's try something on. Okay, what we thinking? There's so much about it that I really like. I know I was thinking that the angle was gonna be a problem. It cuts at the perfect spot. The second I put it all the way on, I was like, oh, that shut me up. The waistband isn't like, I don't know. It's not like a true high waist, I feel like. It's almost in between a high waist and a mid waist. Like at first I got them on and I was like, oh, I had to like shuffle it about a little bit just to get it all the way up. But I think it's just, again, because it's just a slightly shorter waistband than a lot of other brands are doing. But I actually think I prefer this because a lot of other brands, their their waistbands down are too high and too compressive. And then you end up having to like fold it over like, and you're just like, like a snossage. But I love, I mean, the, the bum, are we kidding? I don't think my butt's ever looked so good. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. And I think the scrunch is really nice. Definitely we don't want to be like yanking them up a lot because I do think it had would have the uh, potential to tear, which obviously you don't want. So I'd still would be a little bit gentle when you're trying to like get it into position. Um, the under butt like contour on me, it's almost sitting like not quite at my glutes. And I don't know if that's just cause my glutes are not the same shape. like. My glutes aren't like a, a traditional like they're a little bit more if that makes sense i don't know but i just don't know if it's because they're not sitting there or if i just have to get them in the right place but i do think they're still doing a bit right here just right here for me it's not really doing much but 
pretty much just a difference of body shape. And I'm obsessed with the top. The top is stunning. It fits me perfectly. Um, I feel really supported. I would do a lot with like weights, maybe hit. I think I could get away with one of my boxing classes. I don't think I would go running. I don't really go running, but I probably wouldn't go running necessarily in this. But also, again, I'm a pretty large chest. I think I'm about a 36 double D, sometimes triple D, depending on the bra. If you maybe have a slightly smaller chest, you probably would be able to. But I think the neckline, the way it cuts at the shoulders is very flattering. And again, on the back, it's not too square. It does come in a bit more. So again, really nice on the overall shape. And again, on the back. What are we ranking this? On a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, an 8.35. Alright, pretty good starting point. Let's pop on the uh, gray black. Alright. First thought, the charcoal black, definitely stretchier. Which is weird, because a lot of times within brands, black tends to be because like, to get it this color, the dye, fabrics, blah, blah, blah. A lot of times black tends to be a bit smaller. Things I've learned from years of online activewear shopping. This is the opposite. This is way stretchier. Even like first pull, I was like, oh, so interesting. I don't know. I mean, they're still both my size, but after putting these ones on, I'm like, oh, I like the way that these fit even better. Like everything kind of fits the same. Um, I think besides that, because they're a bit stretchier, I can get this bottom glute seam in a spot that's a little bit better. Oh my god, look at my butt! <laughs> like, they really, are we kidding? So flattering. This top? I feel a little bit sexy, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there's definitely a lot a lot of boobage, I feel like, but I don't know if I feel like I'm gonna be going flying about, if that makes sense. Definitely can see that, like, the cut of it, I mean, my boob kind of cuts here, so there's a little bit of um, more boob on the side. The front's not too, too bad, so definitely not necessarily as much support, but you're not not supported. Like weightlifting, you'd be absolutely fine, I think, with most things. And you're gonna be doing a lot of bent over. Uh, let me see. Down to the left, down to the left, down to the left. I mean, are you laughing? I mean, you definitely are gonna have a bit of like. Well, what squat? What squats? Oh! <laughs> I have the same ones right there. Squat proof. I mean, looks good to me. But yeah, definitely, if you're gonna be doing a lot of bent over type of movements, maybe be careful if you have a larger chest. Turn around to face the wall. If I'm gonna be doing a lot of deadlifts or like good mornings, bent over rows, things like that, where like, you know, the girls are gonna be <laughs> doing that a bit more. Um, the back of it, I mean, I think the back is stunning. I think it sits really nicely, actually, then even on your neck. Like, it's not too high up and then cutting into your traps. It sits at a really nice spot. I mean, I think it sits really nicely. Even if you feel from the front, like, the way it just sits. It's not too far open, but it's not cutting into the traps either. But I think it's really nice. I just feel like... Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. I wish I got the green top. No, I wish I got this. I mean, I wish I got both colors and both tops. Just saying, that's how nice they are. So this is my favorite jacket at the moment. And I mean, I think like, how cute is that? Throwing on after the gym, go and run some errands, go to the grocery store, latte with my gal friends, pop on some lipstick. I do really like that because again, the minimal branding, there's barely any branding in the front. I mean, from what I'm seeing in the camera, you can't even see it because it's way over here. And it's so minimal. It's such a fine, like, I think it's white. This one's almost like a white, light gray. Yeah, imagine. I would go and run errands in this. Like, oh, throw on my comfiest, cutest thing. Throw on a jean jacket. Put my shades on. 
got my mess together. Incredible. Okay, so the bathing suit bottoms, I was correct. They are very tight. You can see, like, I had to get them quite high up, like, into my waist for them to even fit without giving me tons of rolls. And even when I put them on, like, I was, like, and more on my quads, and I could feel like it felt tight. Like, it didn't feel stretchy. And I feel like because of the double line, you get more compression. Um, I mean, coverage-wise, like, you are, you are out and about. You are out confident cheeks out in these no i don't know if these are the thong ones that's the thing i think this is just the cheeky one but i will say i mean i do have some quite large glutes because i think on me this is a thong i'll have to double check the website or double check megan's video because i mean quick on the bums that's a bum that's just all bum <laughs> that's just all bum it's not cheeky that is badonk I feel like I maybe would be in between sizes because it's definitely tight, but I'm interested then would the extra large be too big, but or so, or so, what? Also, uh, I'm a bit on holiday mode. I've been eating and drinking whatever I want, so I am a little bit fluffier. I think, like, I'm definitely up in weight a little bit compared to, like, what I usually sit at, so I don't know if that's part of it, but also, like, all the all the items fit me fine these just definitely are fitting me a little bit tighter so maybe size up in the bathing suit but yeah i mean this is what i look like my little curvy body i mean they do look great on the glutes i'll say but it's like i don't know if it's supposed to sit that high because also i feel like that's just too much bum for youtube i don't know too much bum for the world <laughs> a little chuckle for the world <laughs> but i mean i don't know from this far away i feel like i i like it but it does feel a bit tighter than i would love if that makes sense so all right cool it really is so much ass it looks cute man so after trying everything on i am super super happy um I think in my brain, I almost wanted to say pleasantly surprised, but I'm not surprised. Like I know Megan Grubb has worked for over two years trying to perfect this brand and really make it something not only like good to bring to the fitness industry, but, but a brand that truly cares, if that makes sense. All the pieces have so much different like versatility. The fact that they're meant to be both for like their purpose, quote unquote, like the gym, but also like something you can easily wear to going on coffee dates or dog walks or, you know, beach to bar, exactly like that. You can wear like the bathing suit tops as a bathing suit top or like a really pretty bralette for a girl's night out. It's not crazy expensive. I feel like a lot of fitness brands come out and they have crazy prices. Post like the prices are in the description box below because definitely I wasn't saying I wasn't surprised. I don't think Megan Grubb again, I love her, but she's not the type of person I think who would come out with a brand and make it crazy, crazy expensive. Like some of the brands, you know, um that have $80 for a single pair of leggings. Um I think that's a bit crazy. It's definitely, you know, on par with a lot of other brands that are high quality. You have all the packaging is biodegradable so this is no ordinary bag it would dissolve in fresh or salt water and leave no microplastics behind it also it's also biodegradable non-toxic and carbon negative this is something that she put a lot of time and effort into like trying to be like envir as environmentally friendly as possible and even the fact that i mean on all the tags it says for everybody or body i should say that's one thing that i think megan grubb does really well she doesn't just like talk the talk when it comes to her like view on fitness and being inclusive and not necessarily just working out for trying to be super skinny or things like that but like working out to feel good like for the mental benefits of it in all of her bow and tea like um campaigns you see that a lot more than a lot of other brands who talk about you know fitness is for everyone which i agree it is but they don't necessarily show that within their marketing and megan did that incredibly i mean even the size range i think goes up to an extra large in everything and I think it's a double XL in the active wear and an XL in the swim or it's vice versa. Like one of them even goes up to a double XL and like the size range is relatively inclusive. But the campaign, you saw women of every shape and size in her campaigns and on the website. 
so many brands will have yeah inclusive sizing which is great but then if you're not showing those bodies in those sizes what are you doing it's 2022 i don't understand but megan really did that with this brand which i just appreciate and i think i don't know how more brands aren't doing that nowadays but the fact that she's starting her brand with all this inclusivity and um like already in mind i think is really really great i think that's already way ahead of so many people who are have already been in like the industry for so long which i think is incredible am i missing anything i mean price point great fits great colors there's also a pink i'm not big on pink but the pink is a pretty color it's like a raspberry pink so i actually might buy it if they have a restock i'm not sure yet but possibly yeah i don't know i mean Meg smashed it. I'm just really excited to see where her brand goes and how much more she can do. I think my only complaint is the fact that like when they launched, I will say the launch was not bad, but that does happen a lot of times with new brands. Like I know Shop Pay like crashed, which I've seen with other brands before because they like think it's a spam thing. I don't know, it's a whole thing, but it's not through Megan, it's through like the payment processing companies that handle that if it makes sense. But like um the launch was a little bit crazy but still pretty smooth i mean i got everything i wanted um the shipping i will say was the only quote unquote like issue and i think it's just because when they launched it was only a few days before the jubilee celebrations um and so there was like bank holidays in the uk so that had some delays but there was also some delays with the, I think some of the swimwear items so that's why I'm missing two pieces which I do did know ahead of time but there were some delays with those items getting to the warehouse and I think my only complaint is that there wasn't as much communication about that um, but I will say their customer service is pretty good I did send an email and got a res response relatively quickly also sent a DM and got a response pretty quickly so their customer service is still pretty good um, I mean for especially for a new brand I think that's usually one of the things that's the hardest with a smaller new brand but i mean they smashed it with that so and then even this when they did send this they so they sent they split my order and sent the current items in stock to me right away and then when the other items get to the warehouse they're going to send those as well um and i mean this i got a new notification about the shipping in like a day after i sent the email saying like well can my order be split so i can get some items now because again i'm not from the uk but i sent them to the uk because i was going to be visiting charlie blah 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 but this then shipped literally overnight. So that's pretty good. I can imagine, yes, if I'm in the US, it'll probably take a little bit longer because it always does with UK brands. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else. Honey, is there anything you can think to add? No. No? What was your favorite piece? I actually like the bottoms. <coughs> the swim bottoms. You like the swim bottoms? Yeah, yeah, they're actually pretty good. I wonder why that is. <laughs> but yeah i'm just i mean i think she smashed it i can't wait to see where the brand goes i'll definitely leave links to everything in the description box below that i got and if you guys do get anything i mean i don't have a discount or anything like that but definitely let me know if you do get anything because it'd be super cool just because then we can be twinning in the gym um and i would just love to like see what you guys get also so that's it for me thanks for watching special thanks to chuck for his uh you know his help and his reactions and commentary yeah. always appreciated and uh thanks guys catch you in the next one good good Bye.